and welcome to a new episode of Poke Openings. Uh, today I'll be opening the, as you can see here, the XY Flash Fire uh, three pack blister pack thingy with Haxorus, uh, one of the two promos. And I'm joined with Glyn Hello. Uh, in the background. So, not much to say about this, we're an your average three pack blister, except the design has gone weird. Now it's just a bit of cardboard with cards attached to it rather than the cool doomy thing. But whatever, here's the back with Mega Charizard Y. These weird arm wings. I would read you out the blurb, but I've read already and I'm already too hyped and alliterative to <laughs> reproduce what I told Glyn. But as we can see here, um, we have a Haxorus. Now, this uh, it's worth noting that this promo is not a promo. As you can see here, it's from the Plasma Blast set. It's simply an alternative hollow design. Uh, that's the same with the other one I'll be doing as well. And I'm fine with that, you know. I, I'd prefer promo, but it seems the promos are being kept for boxes these days, and the boxes are pretty expensive for what you get. So, without further ado, I'll open this up, and then we can have a better look at the things that come with it. Also, it's worth noting that the coin that comes with this seems to be random because this is a Chespin one and in my other triple pack is Fennekin. Fucking typical. I don't get a froggy one. Yeah, I can oh, no, feature has gone. I am back. Right, okay, I've actually opened it up and stuff. So, before we look at the packs and the designs, which are hype as fuck! Ah, uh, oh, the card's there. Ah, oh, it's in the wrong area. Right, first off, here is the Haxorus, um Oh, well, they're not even a promo, but whatever. Ironically, I actually pulled this in my last, uh, in the video that went up before this, which is the Plasma Bass triple pack, but whatever, it's got an alternative hollow design. Um, actually, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so this is the hollow that you get with the thing, and this is the Plasma Blast hollow. Um, as you can see, it's got, like, shiny stripes, if that makes sense, whereas this is, like, it's a better hollow, in my opinion, so those of you interested, you don't technically get a promo, but I think it's a nicer design. Anyway, put that to one side, Damanitan, you keep hold of that, unlike you kept hold of Pichu. Uh, and let's get the coin out. I've not actually seen the design of these coins, but that's the Chespin one, that's adorable. I do actually quite like Chespin, to be honest, so I'm happy with this coin. Very metallic and stuff. But that's probably not why you're watching this video. You're probably watching it because you want to watch me open packs. So, we have, well, there are obviously four designs for the set, but I only have three here. I think there may be one in the other uh, triple pack. So, we have Mega Kangaskhan. We know it's Mega because it's babies throwing gang signs in front of it, outside his mother's pouch. We have Pyro, arguably one of the best fire Pokemon ever because he's a fucking lion! Uh, and stuff. He's, he's pretty cool. And then there's Mega Charizard X with his... Put your favourite one last. That's what I should have done. Yeah, that is why I'm ordering them thusly. So, I do not know what this set is like. I have not seen any videos of it. I have kept myself pure for this video. I'm assuming the card trick is the same 3-2. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not, then we're in for a surprise. Okay. And it's majorly going to mess up this video, which is already five-ish minutes. So when I edit it, it'll probably be with three. So, court card. Three and two. Right. Let us begin. Ooh, we have a Floette. That's, that's all right. I, I don't mind Floette. Pretty cool artwork there. Uh, 3D, actually. Don't like fairy cards though, because they're really dark pink and you can barely read them. Next we have Seed Art. Cool, that means Shiftry is in this set. That's the attack and stuff. Pretty standard Seed Art art there. Next we have a Sneasel. Yay. That's pretty cool, yeah. Sneasel's looking pretty badass there. He's, uh, yeah. I don't have a fair Weavile, but yeah, Sneasel's yeah. Also, that's the symbol for Flashfire, if any of you are interested. Next we have, ooh, Litlio, yeah! Look at that awesome little lion. It's, uh, no, he's fire, not normal, although he's part fire, I think, in his Litlio form, I can't remember. Anyway, that's cool. 
Next we have a Pidgey. Oh, that's a really nice Pidgey actually. That's uh Peck off. No, you peck off, Pidgey. <laughs> Using language like that on these fucking videos. There's no swearing around here. Next we have an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball's already handy. Uh ooh. I change the design a bit to go this is more reminiscent to the older set. It kind of looks 3D and stuff and it's alright. That's not a pretty cool card. Next up is Dusclops. Ah, oh, cool. I like me some Dusclops. Pretty dark artwork. He's kind of blending into the shadows there, but that's really cool. That's his attacks and stuff if you want to see them. Ooh, next we have a we have Secret Ash. Which uh, you shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. That's pretty fucking good, actually. That's very good. Wow, five from your discard. Wow. Okay, Pokemon. But still, even if it's just Pokemon, that could be an evolution line. Or two, actually. Oh, we have a reverse... Uh, yeah. Scrulp. Yes, sorry, I... Totally forgot its name, I thought it was Scorapy for a second, but that's a different Pokemon entirely. That's that's a pretty cool Scrulp. I, I'm not a big fan, I'm not going to lie, of Scrulp then. Oh, and we have a rare uh, Furret. It's an alright card, I like Furret. He's apparently incredibly like long and tall. Buried Treasure Hunt, that's an interesting ability for one. Uh, right, cool. Well, that was an interesting pack, and a first look at Flashfire. Let's see what else this set has to offer. I'm Next. I'm a bit underwhelmed so far. It's not been incredible so far, no. But I'm happy I got a Litleo. That should mean, you know, that there's at least one Pyro card. They may they may even do the cool thing where they have two Pyros. One hollow, one non hollow. If it's anything like my ten, you'll get some decent now that you're halfway through it. Yes. I mean, here's hoping for a yeah, possibly a hollow in this pack. Of course, that's that's true for all packs. Uh, right, let's begin Ooh, with a Pidgey again. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We have another C dot. I'm seeing some. Uh, oh, cool. Sand dial. That's pretty good artwork of a sand dial there. Never been very keen on this Pokemon's line, despite its massive popularity with other people. But you know, whatever. Ah, oh, Shinx. Hell yeah, Luxio's in this set. Luxray. Luxio is the second one, well, and Luxio, obviously, then. That's cool. That, that's really cute artwork there. He's just happily enjoying the field that he's running in. Uh, we have a Fletchling. Yay, Smogon Bird. He's definitely going to be a thing. Cool. Probably in the set, because I don't think he was in the last set. Or was he? Maybe I'm talking bullshit. Right, another Ultra Ball. That's, that's cool, that's useful. Another Dusclops. Cool. We another secret ash. Uh, we have a reverse caterpie. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's worse things to have reverses from. He's, he's cute. And a lock bunny. <laughs> so far, this has not been the best triple pack ever. <laughs> Especially if you go back to the plasma blast triple pack I opened a few days ago, in which I got two hollows out of three. This is at least to regular rares, but equally it's good for like sorting out your set and making sure you have all the rares and not having to buy them off eBay and stuff. Which, you know, the last thing you really want is to complete your collection by buying a fucking rare lock bunny. <laughs> right, I cannot open this pack particularly well it seems. Oh no I am. This is my favourite design of the four packs. Being Pyro. And, you know, so try not to ruin it. Try not to ruin it, but you know, I've done a pretty good job at ruining it. So, <laughs> fuck it, why not? I don't care anymore. I just need the cards. Right. Oh, cool card. Three and two. Will this be a good pack to end it on? Let's see. We begin with a um, binacle. Controversial opinion. I quite like binacle's uh, evolution. We have a Floet, is it? No, a Spritzy, I think. It's too dark to actually read. Uh, yep, yeah. I'm going to call her a Spritzy. We have a Sveal. Oh, that's adorable. 
Also means Walrein is in this set. That's pretty exciting as well. Walrein's always been a pretty good card, if I remember correctly. Oh, we have a Baneri. Cool, I have the Baneri line. Oh, it has a rainbow in the background and it's snowing. I'm not sure they understand how weather works here, but that's fine. That's Pokemon logic. Yeah, that's totally fine. Oh, we have a, a Heli Helioptile. Quite like Helioptile. Never used it, but I quite like Helioptile regardless. We have another Sacred Ash. I can see this being quite a common card in this set. Ooh, a Mill Tank. That's pretty cool. Has it got rollers? Uh, no, but it has. Oh, it has powerful friends, apparently. So you, you don't want <laughs> to insult a Mill Tank with powerful friends. We have a Metapod. Cool. It's got an ability of some sort, and it's just chilling on a tree. It's pretty cool. We have a reverse Gudra. Oh yeah! Oh, nice. This entire thing is worth it because Gudra is pretty damn cool. It's got an ability of some description, and it's a it's a uh, reverse rare. So that's pretty cool. So I've at least got four rares out of this. Uh, if you want to read the ability, go ahead there. I'll read it afterwards. And we have a Butterfree. <laughs> Right, well, no hollows in this triple pack, but I'll go on to opening the second triple pack in a minute. So, thank you for uh, thank you for watching, etc. These are the three rares uh, I got, and I want to use the reverse as the highlight of this, which is Goodworth. There's some pretty cool art there, and uh, yeah. So, see you in a minute.